Julia White. Julia is, be, is being nominated in the Leap to Force to Virtue. The virtue she exhibits is justice. Now, this is kind of an ironic leap. Just, uh, Julia is being um, honored for her act of kindness that she shows a fellow student. She is being nominated um, because she is being a great friend, her friend Kelly. She was not, she was, um, her, Kelly's designated uh, helper all week, the last two weeks, right? And um, it was, she was a great help. She would walk Julia to and from uh, all of her specials. She would bring her to lunch. She would pack her up at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day. And then yesterday she was in gym and she did something to her ankle. So she um, is going to now have her own special helper and um, I'm not sure who that's going to be right now, but I'll give them a leap next time. <laughs> so I'm very, wonder, very honored to have you in my class this year. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Visa is being nominated in the Forest of Virtue for Justice as well. And Visa is a go-to student. If I need something filed, someone to help another student, organize a friend, or give the real story, I can always rely on Ambisa. She is compassionate, kind, and respectful. Ambisa is also being recognized for friendship because she, too, has been a very good friend to Kelly, rushing to Kelly's side if Julia was busy. Ambisa gets this lead, always gets right to work. She challenges herself and wants to be challenged. Ambitha has take, is taken preparing for the M MCAS to a new level. After working hard all day in school, she would go home and correct her errors she made in school. It is a pleasure having Ambitha in class. <laughs> Ethan is nominated in the Leap to Forest of Virtue for Fortitude. Ethan is being recognized specifically for courage and perseverance in getting his work completed to the best of his ability. This past term, I have been overwhelmed by the perseverance Ethan has shown in taking his time and getting his best work done. Ethan has taken the initiative to ask for help and doesn't mind if he is one of the last students done with this test. I admire a student who works hard in the face of peer pressure to give me his best work. Ethan was second to last, and he was very honored to be with the MCAS. While Ethan can be quite competitive when correcting homework and morning work, I, I love how he uses it to better himself. Ethan is a pleasure to have in class and a wonderful, supportive friend. <laughs> Ruth Bick is nominated in the Leap to Forest of Virtue for Prudence. Ruth Bick is getting this lead for Prudence because I am in awe at the quality of work that Ruth Bick does. He is, always, he is the only one of a few students who completes every bit of classwork and homework each week on time. He not only complete, completes his work, but is also done to the best of his ability. Ruth Bick continues to give me complete sentences even when they're not requested. He has the above and beyond worth ethic that I so admire. I would also like to recognize Rufik for justice. He is a good friend to many students in class and works hard to make sure everyone is heard and has a chance when teamwork is required. I am thrilled to have Rufik in my class this year. <laughs> Sophia is nominated in the Leap in the Forest of Virtue for justice. Sophia demonstrates justice on numerous occasions throughout the day. Sophia is a quiet, sincere student who always is doing the right thing at the right time. Students like being at Sophia's team because she is quiet and is always helpful. I think of so Sophia as my random act of kindness girl. On any given moment, I can catch Sophia offering up a pencil, a snack, 
or just being helpful to a struggling friend. Sophia does nice things not because she will get recognized, but because she doesn't get recognized. It is Sophia's humility and generosity that makes her to, have, to be a pleasure in class. Thomas is getting this leaf in the forest of virtue for justice. While Thomas is getting this leaf for justice, he could easily be receiving it for any number one, any, any of the three other virtues. Thomas is being recognized for justice because he practices respect, friendship, kindness, and generosity daily. I am always impressed with Thomas's maturity and respect he shows his peers and adults alike. I call, my I call Thomas my first to the carpet kid. I can always rely on Thomas to lead the charge to the carpet. Thomas is also a great for going around, putting pillows away, and cleaning up after daily five. I love, have th love having Thomas this year and look forward to more of his contagious, shy smiles. <laughs> God, there's so much talent there. I just, I'm bowled over. It was beautiful. It was really lovely. Um, could I please have Narelle Justice, Layla Frankina, Dante Magaro, Lauren Montgomery, and Arrow Jubilee come up? Thank you. Narelle, you're getting a leave from the Forest of Virtue for justice. Narell deserves recognition because he embodies what it means to be a fair, honest, and kind person who lives by the golden rule. I know that when I make a seating chart, I can put Narell next to anyone. His behavior will be impeccable, he'll put in an honest day's work, and his good habits will probably have a beneficial effect on his neighbors. Recently, there was a time when everyone was eager to finish a math sheet and it was tempting to finish the last difficult problem by kind of overhearing the answer. Narell and his best friend Joey both chose the virtuous path of slogging through the work on their own. It shows tremendous character to be honest about the little things in life as well as the big things. Congratulations. <laughs> Layla, you're getting a lead in the forest of virtue for perseverance. Layla deserves recognition because when you look at Layla, you're not seeing shyness so much as quiet determination. Layla, Layla is a girl of many talents outside of the classroom as well as in. She's a su successful and devoted gymnast, which, as we all know from the Olympics, takes practice, practice, practice. In class, besides being a kind and good friend, She's a very capable student who excels in math particularly. Like any other fourth grader though, Layla has experienced an occasional bump in the road, which in Layla's case might mean an 89 rather than a 98. The mark of a true champion is after falling off the beam, being able to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and finish the routine. Layla has that spirit and she has shown that she's able to take a deep breath brush off any disappointment, and refocus. Congratulations on your 102 on your decimals test. <laughs> Dante is getting a leaf in the forest of virtue for temperance and optimism. Dante deserves recognition because he always has been one who loves to share his ideas in the classroom, and he's really made an effort to listen to others' ideas and share his own all in good time. He loves talking hockey with his friends, too. But he shows the maturity and self-control to break off discussions of those fast breaks quickly and get down to the work at hand. Dante always has a ready smile and a positive attitude even through tough work, such as preparing for the ELA MCAS. It took great self-control on Dante's part, I know, to review his work carefully on the MCAS, and I know that there was a strong temptation to just be done. But Dante stayed with it. You were one of the last ones to finish, Dante. And I was very impressed. 
Dante's willingness to dig in when the going gets tough will help him in school, in sports, and in life. Congratulations. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren is getting a leaf in the forest of virtue for prudence. Lauren deserves recognition because she demonstrates that it's possible to get, get one's work done and have fun at the same time. Lauren comes in every morning, happily socializes for a while with friends by the closets, catching up on all the latest news. However, even before 9 o'clock, she's gotten her morning work and set herself up on the rug with her pencil, clipboard, and a few comrades, and they start reading the morning work aloud and discussing the problems. There may be a little so social conversation woven into the work, but generally speaking, Lauren is one who always gets everyone back on track. It's very rare that when it's time to review the work, Lauren is not completely done. This ability to balance work and demands of being everyone's friend in the class continues to play itself out during the day. I admire Lauren's maturity, and I appreciate her wise decisions every day and every lesson. virtue for fortitude. Arrow deserves recognition and because I think everyone would agree with me in my class. No one has his hand up more often to answer questions, regardless of what we're talking about, than Arrow. Arrow is a very capable student in math particularly, and he also shines in social studies. But he'll take a chance in any area. Arrow has also shown fortitude with his exceptional effort to prepare himself for the ELAM cast. Arrow is very competitive, and so he aspires to grades that are very good vis-a-vis -vis all other students. But, as is true with people who have inner strength and determination, his real challenge is always with himself, to always, always do better. Congratulations. Good morning, everyone. Can I please invite up the following third graders? Andrew, Noah, Michael, Callan, and Maya. Congratulations, Lucia. Today, Lucia is receiving a leaf in the forest of virtue for demonstrating temperance. More specifically, for applying increased effort and in mastering her impulses and showing a marked improvement in self-control. Lucia has been working very hard to become a better listener during class lessons and more involved in class discussion. Lately, she has shown more patience to raise her hand when she has something to say and the self-control to wait to speak her thoughts until she is called upon. Lucia has been striving to do the right thing during transition times by cleaning up materials and sitting quietly in her seat, showing me she's ready for the next direction to be given. I appreciate the efforts you've made in class, Lucia. Keep trying your best, and great things will happen. Andrew Mitchell. Congratulations, Andrew. Andrew is receiving a leaf in the forest of virtue for demonstrating fortitude, more specifically for continually, continually demonstrating perseverance in all that he does, whether it be his homework, classwork, tests, or his amazing artwork. Andrew gives it his all to do the best that he can. He really cares about the final product, and it shows in his work. He is one that looks forward to his weekly folder each Friday to see how he performed on all of his assessments and assignments, showing great pride in his successes. Keep striving to be your best, Andrew, and you will enjoy much success in the future. Noah Allen is receiving this leaf in the forest of virtue for exhibiting justice each and every day, more specifically for being a good friend and always trying to be fair. Noah has many friends and is well-liked well by both children and adults because of the way he listens to others and respects and treats all with respect. If there is a conflict in a game or a misunderstanding between children, I have heard Noah use appropriate words and strategies to try to resolve the issue in a safe, appropriate, fair way. I appreciate Noah's efforts because it helps to make our classroom and school a better place. Keep being an excellent role model, Noah. Michael Lusini. 
Michael is receiving this leaf in the forest of virtue today for demonstrating fortitude. More specifically, for demonstrating perseverance when things get tough. I am so proud of how hard Michael has been working at mastering math facts, trying to put more detail into his writing, and lately working on lots of MCAS prep, and even the MCAS itself. He has persever persevered through these challenges and has demonstrated tremendous progress. I know Michael does not love it when I give him an assignment back with fix and return on top. He will, however, try to understand where he had some trouble and follow through with correcting any errors. It is because of this effort and hard work he receives the sleep in the forest of virtue today. Congratulations, Michael. Miss <laughs> Callan Harris. Callan is receiving this leaf in the forest of virtue for displaying justice. More specifically, for displaying kindness, compassion, and fairness towards her peers. Callan is a great friend with a fabulous imagination. Other students very much enjoy taking part in her wildly creative games. When problems arise, such as children wanting for, to portray a certain role or to play in a specific place on the playground, I have witnessed Callan use her problem-solving skills to make compromises while still respecting the needs of others. This takes patience and understanding, which can be very difficult for a third grader, as well as older, yet Callan tries her best to be fair. If I were nine years old, I think I would love to hang out with Callan and get lost in a game of fantasy. BSCCPS is lucky to have a friend like Callan amongst us. Maya Sankarin is here today receiving a leaf for demonstrating fortitude. More specifically, because Maya's work is always complete and completed very well. She will often go that extra step beyond what is required to show extra effort and attention to detail. This is evident in her weekly reading logs and completion of optional math extension activities. Her work is always presented neatly and always on time. Since the institution of book clubs in our class last January, Maya has been very responsible completing this additional assignment and is always prepared for her weekly group meetings. Maya, I appreciate your perseverance and dedication you put into your schoolwork. Keep trying to be the best you can be. Before I call up my students, I'd just like to say a thank you to Ann Gilberti, who stepped in at the last minute to handle our all-important curtains, and also to Mrs. Holmes, who, like Team 4S, we work well together as a team. Thank you. I'd like to call up Isabella Piso, Sean Cataret, Ramya Venkataraman, Evan Skerry, Ashvika Bhupathi, and Anish Kundamita. They're right in order. They're awesome. Almost in order. Isabella, more fondly known as Bella. I'll never forget something Bella told me early in late September. Do you remember what you told me? Not sure, you told me a lot of things. She said, Mrs. Schaefer, I just want you to know that I have decided to be a good, no, a great student. Sadly, I probably responded with a simple, that's nice, dear. Well, Bella took her words to heart. She went from a girl who was thoroughly enjoying the social aspect of being a fourth grade student to a fourth grader, commit, a fourth grader committed to her studies as well as being a gal who enjoys her friends. Academically, I have witnessed her writing improve by leaps and bounds. I predict writing in Bella's future. In math, she pushes herself to understand difficult concepts and never gives up. She works hard until she thoroughly understands the mathematical theories. Bella, it has been a pleasure getting to know you better this year, and I look forward to more fond memories together. Sean, Sean. My little 
red munchkin. He's perfect for the part. Sean is a very well-mannered and obedient young man. He has that adorable, youthful face that seems to match his personality perfectly, especially when he's slaying imaginary enemies at recess with his friends. That youthful appearance would also seem at odds to the young man I have seen mature tenfold since the beginning of the year. He comes in each morning and gets right to his morning work, oftentimes finishing before most of his classmates. Then, without any fanfare, he is generous enough to offer assistance to his classmates. He is a very giving student who has generously shared many personal items with his classmates, such as his rack rocket ship when we went to space and technology, and his fossils during our study of geology. Thank you for sharing, Sean. You're one of a kind. Ramya. Ramya Venkataraman. Well, when I think of you, Ramya, I think of one of my favorite Aesop's fables, the tortoise and the hare. Do you know that fable? Yeah? Well, it's a, whereby it's a story about a slower moving tortoise who gets tired of hearing the very swift rabbit constantly boast about his speed. The tortoise challenges him to a race. The tortoise goes at an even pace, consistently moving toward the finish line, and wins. Like the tortoise, Ramya, you win. You work at a speed comfortable for you and consistently score some of the highest marks in our class. You do so with extreme modesty, never wanting the spotlight on you. Well, Ramya, the spotlight's on you now, and no one deserves that more. Evan Scary. Ev doesn't he look nasty here? Look at that guy. <laughs> Evan is just one of those guys who seems to be liked equally well by both boys and girls. His easygoing manner and infectious smile are magnets to all who meet him. While people easily befriend Evan, Evan befriends his studies as he gives the same intensity to them that he does to playing a great basketball game. He has pride in his work and although parents are dubbed primary educators, he takes full ownership of his endeavors, completing projects by himself. He easily accepts constructive criticism and quickly implements the appropriate changes. I'm sure that I am as thrilled as his classmates to have Evan as a vital member of Team 4S, especially since he has learned not to question Mrs. Schaefer's sports knowledge. Keep up the great work, Evan. Our speaker Bukati. Oh, our speaker is being nominated for Fortitude, Justice, and Temperance. Our speaker is one of the most courteous and sweet people I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. And I'm really lucky because I get to see her every weekday. She never tries to bring the attention to herself, always allowing others the opportunity to enjoy the limelight. And our speaker, you deserve it most of the time. You work very hard in math, ELA, science, spelling, vocabulary, okay, everything and your efforts pay off as your grades demonstrate an excellence quality. You accept nothing but the best from yourself and do whatever is required to put forth your best work, whether it be extra studying, trying different methods to achieve success, or completing optional challenge work. I am proud to have you as a member of Team 4S. My apologies to the uh, previous ones where I didn't say what you were nominated for. Anish Gundavida, another one of my stage crew. Anish is being nominated for Justice, Prudence, and Temperance. Everyone needs a right-hand man, and I believe Anish is mine. He is mature beyond his years and able to see the bigger picture in most any challenge and offer helpful assistance. He is at the top of his mathematics game it is an absolute pleasure, pleasure to, listen, to listen to when he's sharing another way with his classmates. He is frequently one of the first to complete a task and always willing to help a student who is still working. And they appreciate his generosity 
and wisdom. He is a very intuitive student whose own drive will take him far, perhaps even into politics or public service, as he has an uncanny ability to calm his classmates when needed, and they listen to what he has to say. Keep talking, Anish. You have a lot of wonderful things to share. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings our assembly to a close. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for being such great audience members. It's such a treat to be able to see not only the great things you're learning in your classroom, but in these forests of virtue, uh, leaves and leaves here and all the great things you're uh, doing in your classroom and how you're treating each other and how you're applying yourself. I'd like to end today's assembly with props for some special people. Fourth grade, you did a fantastic job. I'd also like to include Ms. Lauren Lockhart, a student in the school who's pitching in and helping us videotape today's assembly. And Mr. Temple, who pitched in to help make sure all of the technical aspects of today's assembly are So props for 4S and our special thank yous together on three. Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you very much, sir.